Hello, this is a review for Yankee Candles Mary Berry Linzer. And this is one of the limited edition candles from the Cookie Swap collection. And I'm finally finishing my first jar, my first full jar that I have burned. I have purchased a few of these. Um, what The first one being several months ago at the end of the sale. And I, I had not had a chance to really even like research the cookie swap collection at that point or do much with it but I grabbed one of each that I could and this was one of them now and I think I've said this in a previous video um, but I had not done a full review on this candle but on this one um, when I did go to burn it the first time and then I was smelling the throw in my room in the master bedroom I thought oh man I wish I had gotten more of these because it smelled so good. Now, each of the ones I got, they all smelled, you know, pretty good. Oh, that sound, I might as well show you. Let's get ready to, this is a new full jar that I've got, um, Mary Berry Lenser. So I just wanted to smell it again on cold. And it's interesting because on cold, you may not think, you know, a whole lot of this. And sorry for the glare there, you guys. I really didn't want to move this um, candle because it's got such a big wax pull going on. So I'm just doing the review right here. Anyway, this smells so good on cold. That makes it sound like I'm going to say it. it doesn't smell good when it's lit. So just bear with me though. <laughs> it, it smells good on cold, but it almost has a little bit of a, like a, a synthetic, um, something a little fake with it. But anyway... It, it was nice, you know, nice enough to try. So upon burning it for the first time, I was pretty wowed by this um, early on. So let's see, let me just show you. Now, granted that <laughs> the flame is big and I'm going ahead and leaving it big because it's toward the end here. It's got quite the mushroom top on it as well. I don't know if that's gonna let us look at the, it looks pretty dark right now, that wax pool, but you can see it's almost to the bottom. So the, the burn is pretty much flawless, as you can see, and that's always nice. I always use an Aluma lid, uh, like I do right here, where that's pretty hot. Okay, so the cookies, the picture is just really cute. It's got the little golden decoration around the label there. Uh, let's see if you can see that. Uh, the cookies themselves are just darling. They're just like little cut out sandwich looking type cookies there a uh, heart cut out with the little jammy raspberry filling inside and which makes me um think of this description here let me go ahead and read the description to you from mary berry linzer by yankee candle jammy raspberry filling nestled in almond shortbread with a vanilla glaze now, I did not know that was a description when I first got it, but had I seen that, that would have made me want to get it all the more. I love um, fruity scents. I love bakery and just the rich, yummy treat scents a lot of the times. Not everyone in my house does, and, um, and that's fine, but they're like a little treat for me. Anyway, the idea of the almond shortbread is almost what I think makes this uh, stand out from maybe just any other candle. It, it could have just been a regular shortbread, but the fact that it's an almond shortbread um, is appealing to me personally. I really love the idea of the, the, the raspberry, I guess the, yeah, the raspberry jam filling nestled in almond shortbread. And then with the vanilla glaze, oh my goodness, it just smells so good, you guys. It smells just like uh, the description says, I mean, I don't get a lot of almond. I think it's more of an understated note, but I do uh, enjoy it and it makes it smell a little unique um, compared to what I think it might have been without it. So as you know, it's 22 ounces of paraffin wax and it's burning nicely. I'm really happy I got this. These are normally $27.99. I did get this on a 75% off table uh, for $7. And then after going back to the semi-annual sale this year, I was so happy, and I, I think I was actually pretty lucky, to find more of these on the 
uh, 75% off table. Now, going back a little later, I was just so happy, um, I guess for being such um, a buyer. I, I bought so many Yankee candles over the years and made friends with the, with the associates. It's really fun um, over time. One in particular, but she was just so sweet. And she's the manager now of the one store, but she knew I was coming in because I had some candles on hold. And I guess they found one of these um, hidden in the back somewhere. And she said, Paula, I found this, um, Mary Berry Linzer, and I saved it for you since I knew you were coming in. Isn't that nice? I just loved that. That was so sweet of her. So I'm like, uh, yeah, <laughs> I'll be, I would love to buy that. Thank you so much. And then there's been times, as many of you may know, with this latest sale, and they often do this where they, there's like a coupon of 10% extra off. There isn't right now, but there was early on um, in the sale. And so that's when I went back and tried to stock up on min as many of these as I could. Um, I don't have a lot. I just have a few, maybe a handful, which is kind of a lot. Don't tell anybody, but uh, <laughs> I'm so excited to have uh, this candle. I was so happy to be able to get more because I had made a mental note to myself that if I came across these again, I'd to pick them up. So the burn is nice. It's burning well. I do have to trim the wick every time. I do have to use an Illumilid. I do have to kind of, as always, I just keep an eye on all my candles. Um, the wax pool is beautiful. I don't think I can show it from this angle, but there's just even those little like the sparkly air bubbles in there on the bottom. Can't really see it, but it's, it's just a lovely burn. I'm very pleased with it. I can say too, for those of you who are familiar with the Girl Scout cookie candles, that whole line, so far, so far, I'm really thinking that these ones are throwing a little better than those overall. Um, I know a lot of different people had uh, different experiences with those Girl Scout cookie candles. For some reason, this whole line, um, to me, takes me kind of back to that, even though they're totally different. Uh, fragrances involved I just couldn't help but remember the the two because I've gotten them both on sale but I really enjoy I really enjoying the throw of this and on that note um, maybe the one thing you were waiting for the throw of this candle is sufficient it's it's good enough to be able to walk into a master bedroom and smell it the one kind of um little bit of a strange thing or perhaps an inconsistent thing that I noticed was that on occasion I would not smell it as much as the prior time perhaps and then I thought well maybe you know maybe I'm just I don't know my nose is being funny or whatever but it made me kind of I got the impression that this particular candle may have had pockets of oil or the carrier oil, as I've heard it put once before. Maybe, um, I don't know, I can't quite explain that. I, I don't care so much about that though at the moment because overall, this whole candle, now that I'm getting toward the end, has been a good performer for me. It's been um, not super consistent, like I said, but consistent enough that I have enjoyed it and like it's just a, it's a happy thing it's a good a good buy a good choice at a good price and I it kind of helps to restore my faith in Yankee a little bit I know I was right there with everyone else when we're all kind of wondering like what the heck is going on if you've been with Yankee Candle for a couple decades or more like I have um, I started when I was seven years old Anyway, haha, <laughs> just kidding. I, uh, but you know what I'm saying. If, you know, those of us who fell in love with Yankee a long time ago, um, it was it, it was always just an amazing candle company. Amazing. Um, it was a treat. I remember going in and uh, just it, it was just such a treat and fun just to window shop. Fun just to go like look, look and not buy because it was maybe you know I remember being in college and just being like. Oh, so out of my price range, but let's go and smell the candles. It's just so fun and such a treat. So 
um, to come to the point where it became a disappointment thing, that to me was a huge uh, bummer. At a time in the world where a lot of uh, companies and restaurants and whatnot going out of business because of who knows why, for a multitude of various reasons. Um, uh, but I just thinking I did not want that to happen to Yankees. So all that to say, bringing it back around, <laughs> bringing it home to the point that um, I feel encouraged that Yankee has not given up and I feel encouraged that Yankee seems to have been listening a little bit to people, perhaps to reviewers um, on their website, if nothing else. I know that they welcome and encourage people to comment on their website. The only downside of that is when the candle is gone, um, all the reviews disappear with it. Um, one of my favorite things about YouTube reviewing um, and uh, going around and checking other people's reviews is that it's there forever. Well, you know, at this point, um, it's seeming like uh, we can go back to those reviews long term. And so there's a benefit there. And so Yankee has seemed to maybe listen because what seemed to be a consistent, um, consistently not the best throwing candles for a little while there has kind of come back around. So anyway, a little bit of a rambling video here. Hope you don't mind. I just uh, wanted to get this review in before the candle finished. And I'm excited to have uh, got this candle, to have purchased this candle. And I would love to get a recipe to make those cute, cute little cookies down to the details. I would like to put, let's see, powdered sugar on the top. I would like to do those little scalloped edges and do the little raspberry filling and the powdered sugar on top. Oh my gosh, how cute is that? And I would say that this does smell like how that picture looks. So anyway, if you can get a chance, I know a lot of people have uh, purchased the uh, milk cups in this and have really enjoyed it. Um, it. Seems like there was someone who didn't, I can't remember. Um, a few people get the milk cups and uh, cut them into fourths and put them into melters. I think that's a great idea. I think that when this candle is done and uh, there's a little bit of that wax at the bottom, I may uh, break that out, uh, maybe freeze it and break it up and put it into a melter one last time because, oh, and this was the final thing. Um, at the bottom, <clears throat> excuse me, of the jar, when um, just before I lit this, I mean, it was actually the day before yesterday, I noticed this, the bottom down here of a, the, um, the bottom was very, uh, getting kind of like a juicy, oily um, substance going on and getting very rich and dark, 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 oily. And I thought, oh my gosh, this thing's going to like throw like a, anyway, just going to throw like crazy at the end. And the funny thing is, you'd think that would be right now, but I, I'm not smelling it like crazy right now. Let's see if this one has anything on it. This has kind of like an air pocket thing going on here. This one, this one doesn't have a ton of like oily things going on. Um, and the bottom isn't like overly. Let's see real quick one last thing. Let's see right there at the 2016 pour. So I mean we'll see. Um, we'll see how the other ones do. I did see a reviewer who wasn't too happy with hers. And I thought that was unfortunate. Um, maybe it was a dud. I'm hoping that that's the case. So, because I've been pretty happy. So, oh gosh, you guys, I don't think I'm going to have time to re-record re this. So I apologize for the lengthy rambling video, but hopefully you got a feel for my thoughts on this candle. I appreciate you uh, watching my video today. Thank you so much and take care. And I will see you again before long. Bye-bye.